I've been getting the Apple Watch for the last seven years, year after year, but six months ago I made the switch. And from someone who's been in the Apple ecosystem, using its devices that I'm sure many of us have, to its services that really tie it in all together and give us that Apple experience, I wanna help you if you're thinking about going from the Apple Watch to a Garmin, really what you should know, what you could expect. I've had the Apple Watch series one through seven, and now I've had this Garmin for six months. And also, and, I actually did a half marathon last weekend, San Francisco 13.1 miles using my Garmin. I'll also be having someone who isn't techie, full-time student, my girlfriend, Sabrina. Now that we're both here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the topics that we're gonna discuss right here and some timestamps in the video description. I have the Garmin Epix 2. I have the Vivo Active 4S. So regardless of whatever model you plan on going to, we're gonna start this off with the smart features. Now, you should definitely know that it's more on Apple's end that they kind of limit Garmin to take full advantage of you know, the Apple ecosystem. With our most advanced technologies for our users who- With the Garmin, let me go ahead and talk about the notifications. First of all, anything from like a phone call to text, iMessage, um, to the third party apps like TikTok, YouTube, when your phone's in Bluetooth range, of course, you get that notification, you can read it, but at that point, you can only dismiss it. Um, so personally for me though, getting a Garmin, I was expecting that, so that wasn't a big deal. I mean, what about your experience? Um, it wasn't that much of a difference. Like, I didn't really use up that much of the Apple features on the watch, uh, for the Apple watch. The Garmin watch is pretty much the same. I don't like having to really respond to it, so... The notifications don't make much of a difference. I do like the reminder and the calendar. Again, it just reminds you. Um, you can't change your calendar, but I personally, I like that. And that's all really much I use from the features. I should say, and this is kind of be me, me being nitpicky that you should probably know. One thing that I do miss about the um, able to respond on an Apple Watch is those smart responses. In regards to Apple Pay and Garmin Pay, you have Garmin Pay able on almost all the watches. I have my phone with me, so there's really no need. And when Sabrina just said about the calendar, I do kind of miss, because I'm big on my calendar, being able to edit a calendar event and being able to delete a, car, uh, a calendar event instead of just dismissing it. But those are really mainly the solid points in regards to this. Let's talk about if you have Apple Music and you want to continue using it on a Garmin, well, heads up, you should know that it's not supported. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and put the subscription services that are provided. Personally, this was the number one thing that I didn't like about going with Garmin. Of course, I still have it, so keep watching the rest of this video. But me being um, a big Apple ecosystem guy, I've had music since iTunes. So Nerds. But I had to get Spotify. I didn't like this experience, but I know you had a different one. Yeah, I didn't have iTunes, so I've been using Spotify for a while now, so for me it was a smoother transition, didn't make much of a difference. I like it better that I can use Spotify with my Garmin watch compared to the Apple watch. Yeah, so if you have Spotify, I mean, maybe this isn't even a big deal for you if you have Spotify. Oh, great. What about Apple Fitness? I have to include this point in, after all, this is a fitness tech channel, and by the way, if you're liking this content, go ahead, hit that like button and I invite you to subscribe and make a video every week. I get this question asked a lot, is Apple Fitness Plus on a Garmin? Uh, of course it's not, it's not supported at all. So keep in mind, if you're saying goodbye to the Apple Watch, well, you're also saying goodbye to Apple Fitness Plus. But some good news is that any activity that you do on a Garmin, it's also gonna be shown on the fitness app on your iPhone. It's been six months and we're still using our Garmin watches, so we kind of obviously prefer it over Apple. Number one reason is battery life. Um, if you have an Apple watch, you're probably used to charging your watch every day, maybe every two days if you have a brand new Apple Series 7, but you don't know how nice it is to go days or weeks without charging your watch until you try it. 
Yeah, you could go like five to seven days, but if you're using it like a good five days is cool. Um, what I liked is that, especially when it counts like all your steps um, with the Apple Watch, I know it would die on like, it would die during the day like when I didn't finish my steps. So this just goes to your sleep, your steps, all that stuff is being tracked. You don't have to worry about charging it. Um, even if you use like the Bluetooth and stuff yeah. like that, it could still last five days. So yeah, the five five days for her model, mine goes a little bit longer, five to seven. But if even if you're, if you want a longer battery life, Garmin has it covered. They have solar powered ones, so it could go longer than that. But just so you know, we just came back from a half marathon in San Francisco, which is basically like a long weekend trip for us. We were gone for three, four days, and it's nice to have being able to go to that event without a charger and worry about charging your device. While having the Apple Watch, I cracked the screen twice. And while having this Garmin watch so far, I have not cracked the screen yet, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, two things that Garmin definitely excels at is gonna be the durability and the design. And if you wanna know more, I have a video on the durability. I'll attach it in the description down below. But in regards to the durability, pretty much is that Garmin really designs their watches with a vessel over the glass, making it more durable. Where Apple, they look very elegant and aesthetic, but their glass is curved, which just makes it prone to having a cracked glass. With the Garmin watches though too, there's a lot of designs. Um, so I was looking for more like a girly design. So I like that there's like this rose gold with the white. You're always gonna have like a nice girly design if you like that. Yeah, so I mean, and you know, the Apple Watch, they all look really the same, but when you go with a Garmin, you have so many models to choose from. And I mean, I can't tell you how many times I often get asked when I'm at the gym while I'm working out, oh, what watch is that? And that's because it looks so different from what you see everybody else wearing. But in regards to the design, also it's really nice to have buttons back on a watch. Um, if you're looking into a Garmin, I'm kind of assuming that you're probably more sport-minded. Maybe you're into running, cycling, or swimming. Um, so if you're into those sports, you know it's nice to have a button because you can quickly just press a button without having to look. And it could start a new lap, it could start a new interval, it could start a new workout. Versus on an Apple Watch, especially if you're running in the rain or if you're swimming. If you end up going with a Garmin, one thing that you're probably going to end up loving, I know because I got a lot of comments on this, is that the Garmin Connect app is a great experience. And it's not just an app. Really, if you have an Apple Watch, you have to use three apps to take the full advantage of an Apple Watch. That's going to be the Apple Watch app, the fitness app, and also the health app. Garmin Connect is really those three apps consolidated into one. Uh, so for me personally, I love that because the easier and the more accessible that I have my data, uh, I, first of all, A, I actually use it, and then B, I can actually make the adjustments to my training or to my lifestyle to kind of help me get better and healthier results. My experience with it also, uh, I like that it is all in one app. Um, it, tells, it has like your sleep, your body battery, which is kind of cool, your VO2 max. Um, I like to run and weight lift, so it's nice to see like those extra health features. Um, there's also workout plans on there if you want to if you want to find like a workout, so that's kind of cool. I don't really use it too much, um, but there's also running programs, um, so it's you could kind of formulate your own like a little workout program if you want. And if you want to know more specifically about that app, like the training plans, what she said, body battery, and what that is, I made a video on that as well. So I'll attach that video and all the videos that I mentioned earlier in the description. But at that point, hey, consider subscribing. Again, I invite you to. But hopefully this video kind of helps you out if you want to go with an Apple Watch or a Garmin. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you're going to end up doing. And of course, in the tech world, that could change really fast. I know there are some new updates coming out for the Apple Watch, which I'll definitely make a video on that in the future. But thanks so much, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>